Ferguson, Baltimore, New York City, South Carolina. The list goes on and on. The world is in desperate need for reconciliation. I learned this firsthand when I went with a group of faith leaders to Ferguson, Missouri to meet with the young activists there who were leading the Black Lives Matters movement. We met with them one evening and listened to them tell us about their concerns and what they wanted to see us do. The next day as we were in prayer, we had just learned about a decision not to indict police officers who had strangled a man in New York City. We got a text message from those same young activists who we met with the night before. They said this, we'll be meeting on the steps of the federal court building at four o'clock this afternoon. Are you coming or not? That question challenged us at the core. And I know for sure that that question is the very same question being asked of the church at large. Are you coming or not? That's the question this generation is asking of us. That's the question that we must answer as faith leaders and as people who represent the kingdom of God. Reconciliation is an ongoing spiritual process involving repentance, forgiveness, and justice that restores broken relationships and structures to reflect God's intention for all creation to flourish. That's what God intended from the beginning, and that's what we've been entrusted to do. What I've learned over the years is that reconciliation is a journey, but we can get there if we walk together and if we stay on the road. And so I invite you to join me on this journey to reconciliation. I truly believe that we are living in a strategic time in history. And I really believe that the church has an answer to the questions of what this world needs when it comes to racial injustice, divisions, and hatred. We have been entrusted with the Ministry of Reconciliation. So, my brothers and sisters, when this generation asks us, are you coming or not? I believe the answer must be yes. And this book will show you how to do it.